Let's talk about something aside from biggies. For as long as I can remember, I've heard tales of an elusive shadow cat lurking in rural Australia. I've heard this story from people from Ballarat, from Penrith, from Craigieburn. Sightings of the Black Panther date all the way back to the 19th century. And it's always a Black Panther. It's never a lynx or a jaguar or, or some shit. It's always specifically black. What started this legend? And does the muscle-bound, mysterious feline actually exist? Let's go back to the beginning. There are several theories on how the Black Panther was introduced into Australia. Some believe that during World War II, some US airmen or soldiers brought a cougar along as a mascot. This seems pretty believable. It's well known in military, especially in the Air Force, that bringing along a mascot that could seriously harm its captors is an excellent strategy. Rumor has it that this panther escaped into the Gippsland surrounds and has lived there for 80 years since. Now, panthers are known to outlive elephants, so it is entirely possible. Another probable reason is that the airmen themselves brought a mate with this jaguar. Another sound military strategy, you gotta keep your mascot happy while in transit. Another theory is that the panther escaped from a traveling zoo or circus, and just like the military, so must have the circus brought a mate. No cat performs better than one that is swollen and three months pregnant. Now this raises another question. Let's say those two cats had a litter and then presumably that litter then bred with one another. The genetic consequences would be dire. How could a bloodline of black panthers possibly survive? Which comes to my greatest fear. Hills have eyes cats, thrice the size, quadruple the bloodlust. Of course, 10 times the stupidity, but cats aren't particularly known for their intellect. These ex-cats might be lurking around as we speak, mauling your staffies, killing your ringtails, putting regular waste in the recycle bin. Which comes to my favorite theory, is that Black Panthers never left. That's right, Black Panthers are actually Tassie Tigers. They were never shot dead at every waking moment. Instead, over 100 or 200 years, these tigers actually developed a black coat. Tasmanian tigers were known for having quite the feline-like hunting style, and the timeline does make sense. Evolutionary changes don't happen over hundreds of millions of years. They happen within the lifetime of an RSL goer. Now, let's get stuck into the evidence. If you were to do a search on YouTube right now for, let's say, Black Panther Australia sighting, you'll definitely find some 144p ultra-wide shot of some Drongo's backyard. Some dude actually is starting a TV show called people The Hunt, where he's dedicating a lot of time into tracking down this panther. It's, it's odd though, because this, this documentary aired last year, and since then there's been no news reports supporting that he was successful in his hunt. I don't know, it's weird. Social media also provides good evidence. I infiltrated this Black Panther sighting group on Facebook. Now this group might just seem like your run of the mill boomer group, but I found some pretty interesting thought provoking questions, such as, and this. Wait, is this guy questioning the existence of the shadow cat? This dude thinks he saw a lynx in Gippsland Makes sense, uh, a cat known for living in particularly frosty climates, just hanging out in Bairnsdale, sinking a few tinnies on a warm summer's eve. In 2012, the Arthur Ryler Institute actually raised an investigation into whether this panther exists in Victoria and Australia. They published a paper about the mammoth moggy. Personally, I didn't read it because I was intimidated by the length of the paper, but what do two environmental scientists know? It's likely a PSYOP funded by Bill Gates and possibly George Soros. Lastly, we have the most verifiable and reliable evidence there is. That's right, I'm talking about anecdotes. I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! My dad's mate saw one, I swear. At this point of the video, you might be starting to think, maybe there is no big cat. Well, what if I told you my uncle's mate actually saw one on the way to the Grampians, hmm? How come my friend's granddad saw one back in the 70s? Are you suggesting that people lie? People overall aren't known for lying to their friends or family to make a good story, or even lying to the media for attention. Now it's time for my assessment. It's bullshit. 
There is no Black Panther in Gippsland, in the Blue Mountains, in fucking Craigieburn, in the bloody Sunshine Coasts. But what there is, is a shitload of feral cats. I mean up to 7 million of the things. And the thing about these feral cats is they've taken up the mantle of being the apex predator in the bush. What on earth is a wallaby or a ringtail possum going to do when faced with a silent, carnivorous, and straight up dangerous assassin? Their very ample diet and quite comfortable living conditions, considering Australia doesn't get that cold, has allowed these animals to become sheer leviathans. There's been feral cats found weighing up to 10 kilos. That's a heavy duty beast. So as your mate's dad's mate is cruising through Victoria and he sees this behemoth of a feral cat, while well, through his seven news adult brain he goes, well fuck me, that's a bloody snow leopard. So let's say you see a panther, sorry, specifically black panther in the wild. You pull out your phone, you take a photo, you post it to your flat earth slash black panther sighting group and you get four likes. Well, congratulations because that's the same amount of native animals that cat you failed to report has killed in the meantime. Anyway, so the black panther's not real. Uh, if you're talking about a more verifiable animal such as the Yowie, maybe I believe you. Uh, if you have any legitimate proof that this animal exists, please share it with me. I will happily stop eating any biscuits for the rest of my life if I'm proven wrong.